DocsPop has been working hard to streamline your e-filing process, and we are about to release the results of that work. This video is an overview of the changes we've made to help you prepare for the release of the new version. There are a few general changes to the look and feel that will make this part of our site look different at first. You'll notice that the background color scheme is more muted to help you focus on your work instead of our graphics. Several icons are used consistently. To edit a record, click on the pencil icon. To remove or clear a record, use the trash can icon. Buttons with plus signs are used to add new records. To switch between a summary and an expanded view, look for an arrow that switches from sideways for the summary view to down for the expanded view. Arrows pointing up and down on an input field can be clicked on to view the complete menu of choices for that field. Input fields where you indicate simple information like yes or no look like slider switches that change color to indicate your selection. The ordering of elements is changed to support your workflow more gracefully. General information about the case has been integrated into the data entry area. So for instance, when you are adding service contacts, the names of the parties and their counsel is listed right next to the area you are working in. A button to switch between regular filing and service only is near the top, and switching to service only removes the input fields that you don't need for that function. Throughout the data entry process, we have created defaults for most fields based on what we know about you, the case, or your previous work on this case. For instance, when you upload a document, the input field for party filing this document will default to your client if we know who that is. You can change that, and any changes you make will be the new default for future documents. For all of the fields where you have menu options to select from, your most frequent choice will become the default for future filings. Remember, though, you haven't lost the ability to override the defaults anytime you want to. We just believe that not forcing you to make many repetitive choices will make your work simpler. The biggest changes are in the area where you upload documents to the envelope. You can click on the Upload button to select a file from your computer's file system. Or if you prefer, you can drag a file onto the Upload button from another window. When the document is uploaded, you will see a small preview to the left. This will help you ensure that you pick the correct document. Attachments to a document are uploaded along with the lead document. To see attachments in the preview window, Click on the eyeball icon. In the envelope summary area, lead document descriptions appear in bold. Immediately below the description, the files are listed. The top listing is the file containing the lead document. Below that, files containing attachments are listed, with a paperclip icon to indicate that they are attachments. There are two new helper icons to look for when you are trying to resolve problems with your filing. A green check mark indicates that the item next to it is completed correctly and will not block your filing. A red X indicates that the item next to it is missing required information that must be completed before you will be allowed to submit the filing. The helper icons will lead you to solutions. For instance, the red X here tells us we need to edit the details for this document. So we click on the pencil icon to edit it, and we can see that the problem is that we forgot to set document security. We'll set that, save the results, and now this document is ready to go. The next one needs to be edited also, though. When we go into that area, we find that the filing party is missing. So we fix that up, save it, 
And now we're back on the happy path with all three documents showing a green check mark. Thanks for watching. Please let us know what you think about this new approach to subsequent filings. And if you have any concerns about making the transition, just give us a call. We'll arrange on-site or remote training to help your staff make the transition smoothly.